What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Philly Flipper live channel. We are back at the warehouse, back on a Sunday, back and ready to pull some orders. Man, it's been an eventful week. Uh, a lot of things to share with you guys. Probably will forget most of the things. This is usually how it works. Uh, good weekend for sales, like 70, 70 plus sales go out the door. Some pretty good ones, some pretty decent ones, and then just some sales <laughs> that are less than decent, but still sales. I guess those count as well. So we're gonna talk about what's sold on the other platforms and while we do that and while we do that to my one of the changes that i made this week is um i saw a couple of videos on like on tuesday that got me a little worried about uh, uh one of them was somebody got hacked on mercari the other one somebody got hacked on poshmark and those videos got me a little scared so you know how i used to have like my little like little super little game on which platform is doing better and i was like i'm not gonna touch it until I need to touch here just for the sake of the game. Well, I was like, when I saw that, I was like, you know what, I'm withdrawing. I have too much money in these platforms. I'm gonna withdraw from them. So I withdrew about $1,900 from Mercari into my bank account. And I withdrew about $1,200 from Poshmark into my bank account. Guess there'll be no more tallies on who's doing better or, or, or whatever between those platforms. Because as soon as I hit like $100 or something, I'm gonna withdraw it just because I'm scared of getting hacked or whatever. But anyways, I, I sold this uh, right here. This is a Disney Universe game for the Wii. Sold on Facebook of all places. Sold for $8 plus ship. I just listed it yesterday and it sold. I listed it yesterday, I cross posted it yesterday and it sold on Facebook. So kind of how I'm doing things right now, since I am fully focusing on my business during Q4 and on my move, my, my gym experience, I guess you can call it, it's taking a little side, um, Let's take a little side step uh, to it. Uh, sold Spyro Eternal Light for the Wii. It sold for $15. So I don't have time um, to go to the gym in the morning, but what I'm doing to continue, I guess, be physically active, quote unquote, is there is a track that is about five minutes from the warehouse. And once a day, I drive over there and walk slash jog or whatever, a couple miles on the track. And while I'm doing that, I am actually using my phone to cross post. So I did that yesterday uh, at the yard sales. It was a really good day of yard sales, by the way. You guys, you guys are about to see right now. A good day of yard sales yesterday. Um, I, I came, I listed a bunch of stuff here. I went to the track and I cross posted most of the stuff that I listed yesterday. And as you see, it's selling. So uh, this I also bought yesterday. These are Simpsons um, Halloween like Tower of Terror collection. They're like little figurines you put out on Halloween. And when I bought these yesterday, I thought, oh man, I'm too late in the season, Halloween's over. I have to start, wait to sell them next year, but boy was I wrong. As you guys will see on eBay, this thing right here sold on Mercari. So I paid a lady $100 for all her Simpson stuff. She had Halloween stuff, she had Christmas stuff. There was, uh, there was about 25 to 30 figurines, so I'm about, about $4 per fig. Quite a bit of money we invested when I did absolutely zero comps. All gut. Um, it was all gut. I was like, Simpsons, Christmas, Simpsons, Halloween. That has to be good, right? And she told me that she paid like 30 bucks a fig when she bought them originally. And they were pretty exclusive. I figured, okay, it has to be worth it. So I was rewarded for uh, my gut instinct. Um, that guy right there, that one is called uh, Mutants for mutants for world domination that one sold on mercari for 80 dollars one fig 80 dollars on mercari okay <laughs> so a minimum uh, uh four bucks each that one right there pretty much got most of my money back uh on mercari and then another uh, mercari sale so i listed all the halloween ones yesterday uh, the Christmas ones, guys, if you want, if you actually want some of the Christmas ones, I'm doing a whatnot sale on uh, this Friday, November 4th, I believe. I'm doing a whatnot sale for 
I have like 13 of the Simpsons characters for Christmas. You guys want to come and, and buy those again. All right, I sold this right here. This is a, vi a vintage leather Ohio State Buckeyes jacket. Here is what it looks like. Really cool leather. Got a, the big O over here, big Ohio State in the back. I got um, I got that in one of the first sales I went to in a Route 40 sale in Ohio. So this was like on a, a Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends. I forgot which day it started. I think it was Wednesday. I paid $5 a jacket. They were um, they were in my laundry room for a while, de-smoking. I don't know what's the proper word for it. They smelled like smoke, smelled terribly like smoke. We did everything we could with them, um, just letting them air for a while, spraying a bunch of different chemicals on them. And two of them finally got de-smoked this week. And I listed two of them, or one of them still again de-smoked. I listed both of them on Friday, and one of them already sold, sold on Macari for $90. Then we have a Poshmark sale as well. So yeah, uh, I'm having a whatnot this Friday for the Christmas trains. I'm starting at $10 each because they're actually pretty valuable and I already have four into them. So I'm trying to get at least double my, my money after fees. So I'm doing $10 each. I'm giving uh, my, my viewers and the Simpsons collectors and whatnot a chance to get them first. Then whatever doesn't sell from the whatnot show, I'm gonna list it on eBay as well. Uh, this uh, little Christmas Village phone booth sold for 12 bucks on Poshmark. That's my only Poshmark sale of the week. I'm a little sad, but as you see, Mercari, uh, Mercari held its own for the rest of the platforms. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanna go buy some of the uh, Simpsons trains, you can do it. Here's the Christmas ones at the bottom. Here's all the Halloween ones uh, here. I, I was gonna do Halloween as well and whatnot but i'm, I'm kind of doing this so you guys can have a chance to like decorate your houses with them that's why i'm okay with selling the christmas stuff uh halloween stuff you guys can't really decorate your house with it because halloween's tomorrow and <laughs> my stuff's gonna be afterwards so i didn't want to do that with the halloween i just did it with the christmas um this friday if you guys want to come the link is down in the description also i have in my regular uh, wednesday big reseller lot sale as well that's also in the description below all right uh, this guy sold on ebay i got 35 bucks for him i don't know where he came from but i think i got him like last weekend pretty sure i got him last weekend at, at a yard sale or a week before it was very recent he hasn't been listed for more than um like five days because i don't remember where i got him from i don't remember what i paid for him but i can't imagine it'd be a couple more than a couple bucks i sold for 35 dollars plus a ship Another one of these Department 56 villages. So I, I had a big uh, Instagram buy where one of my subscribers sold me like 24 of these Department 56 Christmas villages. Said he got them at a good deal. It wasn't his bag. It's not something he wants to deal with. So he sold them to me for $100 a free ship, which I was A-OK -okay with paying. And um, this phone booth was part of it. That sold for, I think, 12 on Poshmark. And then this Snowball Fort was part of it too. This sold for 20 on eBay. As you will see, I'm gonna think three or four more of them sold from that buy. I listed all those guys live on my on Friday on this channel. So if you guys, you guys may have caught that. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with um, that buy. So we are continuing to work pretty hard here. Uh, with my sister, with Vita, uh, on the warehouse. Sold this guy for 10 bucks. Got him at one of the community sales with Jess, paid a dollar each. As you will see here, um, I bought these at the auction house this week. They're all listed. I had that Department 56 big Christmas village buy. They're all listed. I bought a lot of stuff yesterday at yard sales. Actually had a pretty good yard sale day yesterday. And the only thing that's not listed from that is this weave right here it used to be tested and uh, listed a couple of weave accessories over there. And I think like two stuffed toys that I photographed but didn't list yet. They're over there and then two tools. So it's legit like 30 minutes of work. Uh, and then everything that I bought this weekend is also listed. And like I said, I'm working really hard on getting things done. And the reason why they're not listed is because it's Sunday today and we had a big family party today. Today we celebrated my grandma's, my sister's, and my cousin's birthday all together. So I got a big party. I'm gonna get to the warehouse until way later. And then when I got here, all I did was just edit the video for tomorrow. And now I am pulling these sales. So I didn't get a chance to list anything today. 
<clears throat> but I knew that going in. That's why I worked really hard yesterday. And I think I got like, I think I got like 60 or 70 listings done yesterday with all the stuff that I bought yesterday. And I got them across what to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, nothing pretty much new to list. I am going to the auction house tomorrow. And then there's a new auction house opening on Tuesday, which is two days from now. I'm going to go there as well. So I might have more inventory uh, to list this week. And then I'm also going to continue to be going through my old stuff that isn't selling, that has bad pictures, that has bad titles, redoing them, ending those listing uh, relisting them and doing that. Um, Lisa Lisa sold for uh, $13. I think it came from the big $40 bulk buy a couple weeks ago. Uh, yeah, everything that's new coming in, we're getting it out the door, listing it really fast. Uh, this week, we ended and relisted all my old shoes. So the shoes that I had for a couple of years that weren't moving. They got rephotographed. Uh, I did, uh, Vita rephotographed re all of them. I did, uh, I edited the titles, edited the price, edited the description, all that, and got them realistic. So every single shoe, so, so every single shoe in my store right now is good to go. It's a good listing and it should eventually sell. So there's a lot of shoes. There's probably like, probably like 100 pairs of shoes total that we ended and relisted. So we got all that done this week as well. So next week, Vita's going to do the clothes. All the clothes that needs to be re-ended, Vita's going to do that. And I'm going to be doing the hard goods. And like the goal is that everything that is in my store is actually sellable. Because I said, I've been doing this for over three years now. When I first started three years ago, I don't know what I was doing. My pictures were terrible. My tiles were terrible. I'm still learning every single day. And it's kind of probably crazy, like looking back to... Like a year from now, if I can look back at what I was now, and I'd be like, oh, I still wouldn't know what I was doing. So it's really important for you guys to go back and look at your old listings and see why they're not moving and uh, fix them and end them. By the way, I just picked this, <laughs> I just pulled this and didn't tell you anything about them. <laughs> These are Napoleonic characters. They're like a combination of like Risk and Warhammers, I would say. You get your own armies, you paint them, you battle things. Uh, I got all of them at a at a auction house. It's, it's been so long now that I remember what I paid for them, but I think it was less than 20 bucks And I've been selling them in these lots like this and I already have a couple hundred dollars in sales and those red Calvary pieces sold for $20 All right, I sold my last one of these And the guy that's bought it today, so good luck to you. nothing I gave it before Halloween It's like one of these like vintage like stickers decorations uh, I've been selling them for like eight bucks each. That's what this one sold for. What's that? eBay store is doing well. Very happy with the progress. The warehouse is looking pretty spiffy, pretty clean. Vita is doing a good job helping me maintain that. We're probably as prepared as I ever was for any Q4 that I experienced. And as a result of that, we're getting pretty good sales on every platform so no complaints for me it's another one of these like pa conservative patches i bought a bunch of them last year at a flea market in new jersey paid 20 bucks for like I don't know, like 60 70 patches so in them like for pennies so many of them already sold this is just like, like the end results trickling in and that patch was one of them sold for five dollars plus ship so some pine cones over here. I'm gonna leave them in this box and my sister's gonna grab them because I don't want them moving around. But all these pine cones right there, all of them sold. I got those from a storage unit, uh, paid $30 for. That was, that storage unit was on my, on my main channel. So you guys probably seen that. Those pine cones were part of it and they sold for $25. All right, sold another apartment 56 uh, village from that buy. This is a home delivery, got 20 bucks for this guy so uh yeah so business here is doing well florida prep is doing well moving truck is booked i ideally i'm trying to get about eight guys including me here to load it and then hopefully the same amount of guys to unload it in florida here's the home delivery guy this is pretty cool it's like a vintage milk truck and guy uh, sold for 20 bucks. Ideally, we'll get eight guys to unload it as well, which but it's gonna be a lot harder to do because I don't know that many people down there. So I might have to hire a moving company to help me unload 
uh, Swell Spider-Man 2 for the Xbox. This was part of that big uh, $100 video game buy that I did now, was like three weeks ago now. That thing sold for uh, $20. And I sold another Xbox game. It's a little later down the list, but I remember I sold it. Since it's Road Rage, same buy as that one. Sold for $15 plus ship. I'm already way in a profit on that buy. So all of these are just, just pure monies in my pocket. So, so uh, yeah, progress for Florida is pretty much doing as well as I can right now. There's really not much more I can do in, uh, in prep for it. The only thing I can do is guess is just um, get more guys to help you eventually. This is one of the things I listed this week from the auction house. I got this on Monday. It's pretty cool, like View Master 3D. This was part of a big lot that I got at auction house. I think I paid two or three bucks for it. There was like five pieces included, so you get some 50 cents into this guy. Um, sold for $11 plus ship. This is the beauty of the auction house though, is like they just put a bunch of stuff together and say, you know what? Give me an offer and all of it and take it. And I saw something else later today from the same auction house bundle. I <laughs> got a couple bucks for it, but it was pretty much uh, free. Um, another one of these Department 56 figurines is a windmill. Uh, one of the bigger ones here. Just a windmill. Nothing crazy about it. This guy sold for $25. See, I'm already at $12.37.57. $77, almost already breaking even. And I think I sold one more or two more uh, as well. So <laughs> it's gonna go pretty good. Yeah, pretty, here's one right here. Kelling at the farm, 15 bucks for this one. Here's Kelling at the farm. Just people on tractors singing carols. 15 bucks, so that's 77, so this is 87, 92. Obviously there's fees and stuff included, but you guys can count that on your own, but $92 back in sales already from that buy. I saw a little Skylander, which is gonna be over here. This is part of that big $10 Skylander buy. It's actually one of the better ones. This guy sold for $12. Here he is right here. So actually, if you guys see this guy at the yard sales, the green little dragon, pretty easy to remember him. This is one of the better ones, sold for $12. So yeah, uh, so yeah, business is doing good. Florida prep is doing pretty well. My Eagles continue to win. We beat the Steelers today, which really, no offense to anybody that's watching as a Steelers fan, your team kind of sucks right now. <laughs> so, not really like, wasn't really sweating going into it, <laughs> but uh, it's good. To, it's good to continue win. You know, you got to win those games, so good to continue to win. Um, this thing came from a storage unit from like a year, like a million years ago. My first ever live on my main channel, I opened a storage unit here. It was like right here. It happened right here. I remember I had my laptop right here. Wasn't prepared at all. I didn't even have a mic or anything like that. I thought I could just go live from my laptop and get the mic to pick me up even though I was back here. Realized that wasn't the case right away. So went to Best Buy like an hour before my live started. Got one of those white uh, snowball mics. Uh, yeah, man, so, <laughs> so many things changed since then. I think I had, I think I had like three or 400 subscribers. I had like 400 or 500 subscribers on my channel at that time, on my main channel at the time. Now we're almost at 16,000 on that channel. Um, yeah, lots of things changed <laughs> since then. And that car came from, and that car was open live. It came from that storage unit. Uh, I think I spent like $300 on that storage unit. Already had like two or $3,000 in sales. And um, that card sold sold for $10, but instead it's pure money in my pocket. I sold a couple of uh, sports cards. Uh, like three bucks, four bucks, five bucks for all of them. I got them at um, Carrie's Whatnot Auction last week. Um, he was just doing like just adding things and I was just bidding on them. So I don't know. I think I spent like 20 or $30 at his auction, but I got a bunch of cards from it. Probably had like a hundred to $120 of value. So it's cool to support like a friend and make money on it. I'm not, not going to pull the cards out in front of you guys. It's going to just waste time. Uh, I sold these Nike LeBron sneaks. I think those came from the church sale in Virginia. 
the 100 mile sale uh so it means that i paid a dollar for them and they sold for 30 bucks plus ship lebron could use those shoes right now because he stinks and his team stinks <laughs> can't think of a better place to stop uh part one of this video both trashing on lebron uh so this is gonna end part one guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for part two of the weekend order pool series in a couple of days